Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and currently, you're only seeing a K1500 on your screen. Now, there's a reason for that. I didn't want to have the vehicle in question on screen at the beginning of the video. No, I wanted to actually show you guys the process of spawning this thing in because, uh, it's, it's pretty weird. Uh, it's pretty weird, and it's quite possibly the most broken thing on mod.io in existence. It's called the long bread. Now, if you watched one of my streams recently, you may have seen this thing before. However, when I go to spawn it in, it looks like a normal loaf, right? Wrong. There's another loaf attached to the back of it, and it's it doesn't act like a trailer, and also the textures on it are completely broken. Now, there are there are basically so many different angles of steering on this thing, you can't even really you can't even really keep track of them all. And I'm pretty sure that the rear steers faster than the front, and it just leads to all sorts of problems. So, let me fire this thing up for you guys and show you what it drives like just in this normal spec, sort of. And then we're going to take it into the garage and hope and pray that it doesn't crash my game. Now, whoa! So, there's that. Can you, like, not dig your way into the ground? Oh, jeez. Of course it wants to pull from the freaking sapling, as it usually does. It doesn't want to go straight at all, ever. But, I think it's important to take this thing into the garage because there, there's your broken textures. But, it's important to take it into the garage so I can show you guys what happens when you, uh, yeah. When you, <laughs> when you put the suspensions on it and then you put the tire options on it and you realize how truly freaking broken this thing is. So, yeah. You have stock, raised, low active, low active front, low active rear. Then you have high one, two, three, which hits the roof of the garage. Well, that's, wait a second. Oh, sorry. One, 1 1.5, two, and then three, and then four, and then max, which puts it up there. And basically it takes your leaf springs and goes, eh, like, it literally just stretches them to their, basically, till they're basically about a mile long. So we'll go ahead and actually throw that suspension on it. Then, we're going to go through the tire options. Now, currently, you can't really see them, but you're starting to. Now, the tire options for this vehicle go all the way out to, like, basically sizes that are so incredibly stupid you can't even begin to comprehend them. And let's actually just scroll down a little bit faster. We've got 51s. There's the... Okay, 78s. So, like, the street tires go to a 78. Now, basically, to sort of cut to the chase here, you can go to the mud tires, and when you get to the mud tires, you have available to you a 157-inch tire option. This is not what we're going to... Well, that might be what we're going to put on it. But let's go to the actual, like, end of the list and see what the others are. What is that one? MS-1. Okay, 157-inch MS-1. I don't know how tall 157 inches is in feet off the top of my head, but I can't... I, I just know that I can't see anything else now. Ah, there we go. That's... That's... Yeah, that's what I wanted. Sure. You can put beans in it, which, that, that redeems it right there. That's, that's the redeeming factor, is that you can put, like, the dachshund on the inside of the van. So, yeah, this is broken. This is so incredibly broken. Look how much of a, look like, a, look how much of a Bluetooth axle you freaking have. Let's leave the garage and hope my game doesn't literally explode. Wow, my game didn't actually explode. That's tremendous. Uh, so, what you're looking at here is basically SnowRunner's maximum level of stupidity that it could ever achieve. And look under this thing. Look where the axles are. Like, everything about this is wrong. 
at literally everything about this is so entirely wrong. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to drive it. Or at least we're going to attempt to drive it. Because if you attempt to drive it and you, uh, and you go... Like, if, if you attempt to drive it and you go any faster than, like, one mile an hour, it flips over. And when I say it flips over, it freaking flips over. So you have to be insanely careful with it if you don't want it to just turn over on you. It can pull trailers, which is kind of weird, including some of the heavier trailers, which I don't know if I want to try that right now, but let's try low minus and see if we can move without flipping over. See, the back end just wants to come up off the ground, and I'm not sure why. I think it's something about the physics that, like, just doesn't agree with this. But, and I, dude, if I was this, this game's physics engine, I wouldn't agree with this crap either. This crap is, like, stupid on every possible level. But you know what? God, I don't even know if it'll fit out of the gate. It might. It also might not. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh. Yeah, this thing literally won't fit out the gate. That's wonderful. Let's see if I could... Is there anywhere else that I could leave from? Well, I could leave out from there, but it's blocked by trees. Oh, this just got real interesting. Is the other side more open? I don't know. Let me try low. Whoop! If you reverse too fast, that happens. And that, trust me, that happens so incredibly often, it's not even funny. So let's relocate ourselves to the outside of the sort of garage compound area. Using our trusty little Chevy pickup. And now, let's attempt to... Do some more... T attempt some more broken adventures with the broken loaf. Broken bread. Broken baguette. Like, literally, this thing is basically... It's... It's a... Eh, it's a baguette with broken suspension and tires that are too big. It shouldn't exist. It really, truly shouldn't exist. But you know what? In an odd way, I'm happy it's here. Now, in order to actually install these suspensions outside of the garage without dying, you need to sort of do them in stages. And I'm going to try to, like... The weight is so broken. Like... There we go! Yeah, we fixed it! Oh my god, that's... That's actually kind of rare for me to be able to fix this thing. If you guys have seen this thing on my streams... You know how tricky it can be to fix it when it starts to get into that, uh, that sort of flipping sequence. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. All right, we're all right. We're all right. We are all right. Okay, so... Again, we will have to go up in stages. So, let's go to a... 65. Oh! Oh, it broke! Oh my god, it broke! Oh my god, it broke! Holy crap, that can happen sometimes. Not always, but it can happen. Ah, uh, yeah. So that should further emphasize how incredibly broken this thing is. Now, whether or not you actually want to play around with stuff like this is up to you. I mean, I can't guarantee that it won't break your game. I mean, this thing is available on mod.io if y'all want to use it. I don't know if I would recommend it. I, I don't think I... I don't think I would just come out and say, yeah, I recommend using this thing because there's nothing redeeming about it other than like, yeah, sure, you'll have like 10 minutes of fun with it, but I don't think anything else besides that will happen. I mean, 10, 15 minutes of, of breaking the game and that's about it. But like, if that's your thing, go for it. But I can't say that there's like, a lot of redeeming qualities to it other than that. Now, let me try and get a decent suspension on it one more time. One more time. Let's try to go to 1.5. 2. 
Wow, it flipped over on suspension two. Normally it doesn't flip over until like suspension three or four. It must not like this surface because it's been complaining a lot. Let's go 1.5, three. Oh, it hates that. That's savable though. Pull me back down. All right, there we go. It doesn't like to stay upright. It actually hates being upright more than anything else in the entire freaking world. No! I am upset with this thing. Like, th it has no reason to be as infuriating as it is, but yet, it is. I'm gonna have to take it off the bridge jump. Like, there's no way that I am gonna let this test happen without at least attempting the bridge jump. And I wanted to do the bridge jump with a lifted suspension, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, I legitimately don't think that's gonna happen. Simply because of the fact that this thing is just so incredibly broken that I doubt it'll even make it to the end of the bridge. Well, without breaking, that is. Kick the clutch, whoa! You kick the clutch and it's like, ah! You kick the clutch and it, it gets bad. It gets bad, like, immediately, too. There's very little you can do to prevent it from, you know, from getting very wacky very quick. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! If you could, like, not... That would be great. Okay gonna be like the trickiest attempt at the bridge jump I think I've ever had like just keeping this thing in a straight line is difficult enough as it is oh god well what do you say let's go ah! I can't see where I'm going oh that's a lot less dramatic than I feel like it should have been. I feel like that should have been so much more dramatic than it actually was. But you know what? I mean, like, I have mixed opinions here. Like, should you... I don't know. I mean, I know I'm all about, like, silly mods and mods that sort of break out of the norm. But, like, this is literally, like, a bread box with, with glitches. There's nothing more to it than that. I'm gonna make it break. I'm gonna break it. Oh, I'm gonna break it. Hang on one sec. I'm gonna break it. Yes. Oh! Okay. Oh my god. If it, I was gonna say, if it lands on its wheels. Bruh. Well, here's an opportunity to show you the biggest possible tires you could put on the dang thing. Because it's not, like actually able to be flipped over so I can actually show you the biggest freaking tires but still like should you download this I don't think so if you want to do it at your own risk I suppose but don't blame me if your game breaks because this is a game breaker that's for sure now did I have fun with it on stream I mean yeah it's it's fun again it's a good like you know 10-15 minutes of fun but other than that, it's like completely and totally pointless in terms of like actually functionally doing anything. But is it the stupidest mod ever created for SnowRunner? Potentially. But with that being said, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys thought of this thing and thought of this video. And if you're new around here, do consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.